from January to December. From January, and you know, we know how it was all in between there. But we have reached December to the close. And some of us, we shocked. And we struck. We still alive and all. We shocked. We still alive and all. Things was tough. Things was rough. But God. But God. But God in our lives. I thank God to each and every one who really comes to worship with us today because one and one and one is so strong when we hold on together. I by myself weak. But once I have each of each of us, each of us hold on together. We are so strong and we said how strong we are.
we become weak. Hey, and we can't even pray. But I thank God that they have put down every spread of weakness and have picked up Jesus. Amen. Hey, my belly hot breath. Hey, I feel like a knife. I feel the coldness of a knife went through my belly. I didn't have to wonder which kid it was. Because I knew because my belly, they yes, yes, come yes. for me yes. and they spoke to me and they get into the presence of the Lord. Hey. Hey, 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 hey! And I say, Lord, I don't care which I kill it is. If it's my son, Lord, I pray that you save his life. If it's my nephew, Lord, because I know he's walking kind of crooked. I ask that you save his life. I put on my clothes and we went to the hospital. It was the worst experience I ever had in my life. But I tell God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I tell God for asking beforehand. To grow in Christ. Because yeah. sometimes, you know, we want, we want so much thing from God, but we want to give nothing. Yeah. We want to give nothing. Come on. We don't want to really give. We don't want to sacrifice yeah. nothing. Yeah. You know, I had a dream <laughs> in 2018. I dreamt that my son got shot and died. And I was on the way to the gate. The morning I get up and I pray a violent prayer. And I went to my son's house and I say, hey, go and made that from here. I pray and I anoint him. And I say, Lord, cover him with the blood of Jesus. And it all came back. Like I slap in my face. And I say, hey, and we pray a prayer, kind of funny prayers. Because people say I went and pray that, but I say, oh, yeah. I say, Abraham was told to carry up his son. The son that he bare God for. The heir that he bare to get. And when God tell him to carry him up, he didn't trust him. He took him up. And I said to the Lord, I said, if you're telling me to carry my son up, so that I him up in my mouth. I'm not withholding him from him. I went through a lot of trouble to make him. But I'm not going to keep him from him. I believe you will prepare yourself a lamb. He did on that night. He saved two lives. Because I believe if my son wasn't there, the next guy would have got 14 shots and died. But God have a plan. And I believe you know that through this, through what we're doing right now, through everything that God has taken us from January to today, today, the last day of the year, there is no going down. It's only going down. Amen. We like to talk. The things of God. We like to say the words because we read it in the Bible. But we only believe in 25%. The next 75% is full of doubt. But I want to encourage you, whatever you say to the Lord, to do whatever you promise unto Him. And He will give back in unto you. He's a better to no man. He saved my son's life. He saved my family. And my mother did not die. Amen. But she have life. And she has life more abundantly. Amen. You know, nobody in my family has died from COVID. Though many of them was affected by COVID. So I want to say, that my God is a good God. Amen. Amen. My God is a great God. Amen. He's just great. He's just great. Amen. I'm 
That's my challenge to everybody. But we say we can have a little trust for him, but he is for all time. He is no man. But come today. When we finish up our, when we finish up our prayer, come today. We give it all to God. Amen. We give it all to Him. Amen. 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 I wanted to call, but then I got it. I said, I'm not going to call it. 